my friend oh my god I can't believe this I, th I know this is a little bit outside of the scope of course income secrets but at the same time you could certainly create a course about this but what if you could start your own software company like Microsoft make millions I'm not promising that but I'm just saying what if you could do that even if you have no tech knowledge if you're not a programmer if you don't even understand computers that well what if you could do that I wouldn't that be totally insane <laughs> I know for me I was like okay you know I'm a programmer and everything and there's lots of stuff to learn but I don't really have time to learn everything else I need to learn to build my own software company using chrome extensions what if it was super easy to do this week I actually took part in a challenge I'm actually going to show you that uh, I'm going to kind of show you a little bit about the challenge but I'm also going to show you how it's possible for you to do it too and I'm so excited that it's it's actually really simple <laughs> but you got to go through the process you got to learn the little things and then you can get somebody else to do the work and get somebody else to and it's really not that expensive you can spend like 50 bucks 100 bucks to get the software done and then sell it at 20 30 bucks a month to a thousand people and <laughs> can you just imagine anyways we're going to get right into that just after this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so your own software company your own software company that's making thousands and millions a year maybe it's possible it's possible even if you have no technology and I'm going to show you why I say that so let me just share my screen here let me just uh, go over here and let's go to share the screen show you what I'm talking about so so first of all have you heard of chrome extensions right chrome extensions let's go back to the desktop there you go so chrome extensions are these little things on the, on top of your browser right let's just go and show you what I'm talking about if I look at the top of my browser right there right uh can I zoom that in I can't zoom that in but when you look at the top of your browser you got these little let's just uh let's paste that in in paint at least with paint I'll be able to zoom in and show you so if I just uh, show you right here right on top of your browser you have these things called extensions right up here this like a Pinterest extension over here I've got a Vimeo downloader over here I've got a keyword uh, stretch and then this is uh, other extensions and you know you can enable those and you can download them for free right you just go to if I go for example here I go into uh, tools more tools I go into extensions well you can't see that on the screen here but let's just move it over here I go into uh, the three little dots I go to more tools and then there's extensions right here right so I just click on extensions it'll load up a page with the extensions I have installed they don't have to be enabled you can have I could uninstall some and whatever but uh, over the over the years right I've, you get these extensions installed and you can search for your own so if, it, if I go over here in the menu down the bottom here there's a chrome store right so you go to the chrome store and you can search for literally everything anything right so let's say for example I want to find something that's going to allow me to so Facebook friend remover right so I want to find a Facebook friend remover there's a ton of these extensions over here I can say friend remover all friend remover mass friend remover let's go for this one for example right I go to this one there's 3,000 people that have used it and I can just click add to chrome right there but the secret is that lots of these extensions well first of all in chrome you can't you can't charge you used to be able to now you can't and the thing is that uh you uh, you have to install it for free and then then lots of these chrome extensions they now have a ch they charge you like five bucks ten bucks thirty bucks a month to use the extended features right maybe I don't know for example you can have a re friend remover that lets you remove uh, only 10 friends <clears throat> 10 friends in, at a time right but if you pay for the premium you get to remove 100 friends and then if you pay for the extreme you get to remove uh you know unlimited number of friends or whatever right so you can have these kinds of things that are set up and that's the secret you can have a 
a plugin like this to be your business and how do you do that I'm not gonna you're not gonna learn how to create a, an extension I mean that's totally ridiculous right if you're not a technical person even me even if I could figure it out it's it would take me a lot of time so what I all I all I need to do is find somebody and, and there is right now right now I'm actually going through a training right now this is the training right here with a Kim and she is doing she's really really first of all she's doing really awesome she's got a lot of results and if I look at the so in the units here I can show you for example in day one in day one we talked about the subscriber scaling formula so the first thing you got to do is you got to get subscribers right like when she started out she had only two people paying for her extension at seven bucks a month now she's got like three thousand people or something and she's got like six other extensions and she's doing amazing she's teaching how to do this right on day two she's talking about finding a profitable idea okay well like like for example if I go in here I say chrome extension well let's just go to google let's just start a new tab I just so it's you can see me type it here okay so if I just go in here like for example look at look at that recently I did a, a, re a search for this right so if I go and I say um chrome extension for Facebook friend remover right so if I do that now I'm going to find all these things now one of the <laughs> this is kind of interesting right one of the keywords I have not the keyword sorry one of the plugins I have installed it call is called related keywords this plugin over here and keywords everywhere right so it's basically analyzes pages for me and shows me other keywords and but that's that's just a plugin that I have that I could maybe be paying monthly right and the thing is that hey, hey here's one thing that you might be surprised about even if you think well why would anybody pay for an extension the whole bunch of them that are free that you can install why would you pay for an extension seven bucks a month 20 bucks a month whatever if there's a free version of that extension and I gotta tell you there's people out there that will pay out uh, they they don't want free stuff because they their experience with free stuff is that it breaks and it does not support it as quickly they don't get as much um you know results they don't get uh their answer their questions answered uh, it supports bad and whatever right for free stuff so they'll they're willing to pay for that extra uh, you know uh <clears throat> that extra support right so that's one reason why you might want to do that uh, and but there will be people that will pay so you can they exist they're out there people will pay if they get better support they get better service if get better better results so you can have a plugin that's the same as all the other plugins but at least you answer emails whenever they raise a ticket or you have a team that does it for you it can hire people you know imagine if you're growing if you're growing a, a, a business and you're making a hundred thousand a month <laughs> well you can hire somebody to answer the questions you can make sure that those questions get answered and that you've got a support team or three four people or whatever it takes to get that done right that's business that's business that's doing it right having a free plugin from some kid that's in his basement that did the plugin that posted it on there is awesome and if it works and if things don't change and they don't have to update it that's great but what happens when you know the platform changes and all of a sudden the plugin doesn't work anymore because the platform that it's you know Facebook for example has changed so now the plugin doesn't work anymore it needs to be updated well you as a business owner that's making all that money will have the money to fix it you'll be able to hire uh so yeah I'm getting ahead of myself but <laughs> but anyways just as an example right here if I look through this I can see all these friend remover things this is a Google Chrome extension right here friend remover for Facebook friend mass friend remover, remover for Facebook right <clears throat> friend filter remove on friend active friends all these there's a ton of these why are there so many if I look for example let's say is there an ad in here there's no ad that's interesting there's no ad you can actually you can actually buy an ad for this if you if you can um unfriend checker anyways but if you look through the keywords you can see right here unfriend all Facebook friends apk how to mass delete on Facebook let's just look at that so it, this is actually the next web people also ask how to quickly delete old friends how to delete Facebook posts in bulk how to delete friends so I mean you can you can kind of do your research to see what is what are people really looking for as you can see lots of people are looking for these friend remover things right so there's lots of Facebook 
uh, people looking for that so even if you don't have your own idea for a plugin you can just go look at what plugins are actually very popular what people are actually installing and there's even other sites like uh what's the site um I'm trying to remember it's called all oh right it's called a chrome flix it's called chrome flix chrome flix.net <clears throat> so if you go to chrome flix.net you can register uh you can uh can continue I'm already logged in so you can just put your email in there and then you can search for things so let's say for example uh I don't know what this idea generator is but if I look at this I can see right here if I so go to trends I can see right here uh if I click on users I can see user growth uh no the other way okay I can see that this one Google keep Google meet go writer kindle cloud reader video news zen mind meditate relax wallpapers browse new tab movie news custom cursor for chrome so let's just look at this custom cursor for chrome so what is that so there's like as you saw there's a ton of people wanting it there's four million users that have it you can have your custom cursor for chrome and this is uh I don't know if it's free or not but uh if I go to the website uh new cursor packages you can buy these oh look at that they're pretty smart so they do, they have a free plugin but if you want you buy these extra packs of of uh of things right so that'd be an idea maybe do your own and have all these different things maybe people uh, like to buy these things so if I go here add to cart I don't know let's just try it see what you do not do not have click install it okay so you have to have the install the extension but like I said uh oops that's on the new tab okay let's just go back let's go I'm going to show you the so the other thing is inside the group you're going to learn how to get subscribers how to find your rock star developer because you know one of the things is you you want to have you want to have <laughs> a developer that's going to do the plugin I actually posted inside of uh let's go show you I actually posted in um what's it called uh Upwork so upwork.com I'm super that's totally insane how quickly it, things happen I actually posted uh two different postings right now I ha actually have 25 proposals for this one <laughs> that's insane uh, 13 proposals for this one I don't know if I'm going to do this I was my first thought was a chrome extension to auto accept connections but apparently uh, LinkedIn is not very chrome uh plugin friendly so I probably will drop this uh, but um but you look at this this is just two days ago 19 hours ago one day ago I have 13 people wanting to do my extension for just 200 bucks look at this if I look at this this extension I probably could have made it 100 but I got look at look at that 200 dollars 200 dollars 200 they're willing to do the extension this is a one-time thing I would said you know just it's a one-time purchase one-time thing and this is what I did I posted this all I did is this I just say I need a chrome extension that would automatically accept connection request based on specific rules 200 dollars intermediate and then I just posted uh, put a few things and then I posted it and then that's it then I got all these proposals after uh, 13 proposals that's I could I have my pick I can choose but you know of course you want to you want to learn how to choose the right person how to how to make sure that they have the right cr credentials qualifications you can't just choose anybody the first one that comes right so you got to learn how to do that that's one of the things that uh, she teaches in her in her training and then of course today is is day five and I'm not sure what it's what's going to be taught in day five but I'm super excited I um and <laughs> this this is what this wasn't my intention I wasn't intending on going into this this different direction right but <clears throat> but that's what I'm doing right now so I got I got my uh my job now the other thing I need to find out is okay how to create a chrome or how to how to build a chrome extension let's just see just for the fun of it because I want to know how do I build it in 10 minutes flat getting started so I could be a developer right and build my own extension um but and there's lots of stuff right there's lots of stuff but what you know do you want to be a developer you probably don't I I, I can probably figure this out because I'm a technical person but it doesn't matter it's not because I can do it that I should do it I mean uh, I, I I get paid a lot of money for my job right so why would I spend that time that I could hire somebody else for like a tenth of whatever I could I should be charging for stuff I do 
I can hire somebody for like ten dollars an hour or 20 15 dollars an hour right to do this for me in a week and it's done and I don't have to worry about it even though I could do it that's it would cost me a lot more of my time to do it right so I can just hire somebody you can do that too and it, for you if you if you're not technical then yeah you can do it right so I mean if I um chrome ex uh, oh let's yeah so I mean that's the thing right so chrome extensions there's so many chrome extensions if I if I go to to the chrome store do I have it over here yeah so the extensions right the chrome store extensions you can find all these different extensions that you can install on chrome there's so many options it's totally insane but you're you might be thinking well that whatever extension I can think of it's already there I already have it right so what about an extension that just grabs pictures from Instagram I go to Instagram right here right <clears throat> and I want to grab pictures on Instagram if I'm on Instagram on my desktop right um I just want to grab pictures whatever pictures are here or say I want to download something or I want to take a picture like this picture here obviously there might be copyright issues whatever but let's say I want to use uh you know any of these pictures I want to uh, whatever right so that's one thing you can you can have a next uh plugin that lets you do that the other thing there's actually plugins that let you post from your desktop on Instagram right as you can see there's no posting on Instagram right but you could you can do it if you know how to do it in the back the technologies and there's some developers that know how to do that so you can hire them to create it for you and then you can sell that extension uh for seven bucks a month to to have the unlimited version or something or this and and or 20 bucks a month for but anyways anything's possible you could have something that lets you zoom into pictures right you want to see uh something that's on the picture that's really small and you're you, you know you don't want to zoom in like this well you could have <laughs> something that lets you zoom in on pictures uh on anything right so whatever whatever you want to do right um so what else what else could you do I mean there's so many things if I if I go to uh, maybe I want to have an extension that lets me manage my friend list in outside of Facebook so I can keep track of all these friends instead of having to do backups and things like that what if I want an extension that extracts all my friends out of Facebook and saves it in a Google sheet for later right at least I have the list you know I don't know if you've heard that some people get their accounts uh, banned right so you lose all your connections all your all your all the people that you uh, were friends with before right uh because you lose your your Facebook account so what about an extension that would let you do that right <laughs> there's so many options it's it's crazy how many options there are so this is <laughs> <coughs> sorry the chrome flex thing whoops uh what happened oh right there so the chrome flex chrome flex thing is a great place to go find some ideas let's see what's the uh there was an idea thing someplace where was that uh I just want to go see there's something else in here that the idea gen I never tried that I don't know what that is let's go to idea generator chrome extension cast your chromebook so three new ideas to get inspired contextual translator stream recorder download at hls as mp4 uh 5000 view and web store so these are these are look at that these are examples inspire me with new ideas some more ideas turn off the lights auto plagiarize fading to dark so you can watch the videos okay a browser extension for auto oh that's kind of cool so this be an extension say you want to use your pc to watch um, a video on but you don't want to have to worry about going and, and pressing the buttons to, to dim it down or whatever right you could have something that does it for you right uh what is it auto plagiarize a browser extension for auto loading paginated web pages uh a Vera password manager send anywhere for gmail slack share large files up to 50 to get character encoding tag pro capture the flag real-time multiplayer capture the flag uh, what else what else is there iboss cloud enterprise g translate sample ime for me so this is basically just going and looking at the at what's the most popular and giving you some uh, some some ideas right so you can get ideas just by going through that but the thing is that there's so many options like if you were to go through the training uh that um that Kim has by the way let me just post a link here for the training she does this regularly right now this is going to be probably over I don't know if you're going to be able to see that the replays or anything like that um but uh but um 
let's see now uh so there's um yeah so uh, if you go to uh this is facebook.com groups so you can go to this I'm going to post it on my on my screen here because so let's just uh, add another one so this will be called uh extension training I'm just going to put that like this and I'm just going to put that in here and I'm going to make oh that's way too big right so that's what this is over here you can't even see it can you it's still way too big okay there so I'm going to post that actually this is what it is groups that's really I probably should I should let me create for you a short link for this so that it's easier to get to I'm actually going to go in here in here in here in here there you go I go to my uh zone edit I'm going to put that inside of one of my domains <clears throat> and I'm just going to call it uh Kim Kim that way if it, if it if it changes I can I send you back to something else actually there is another page I should probably send you to which is this page here um where's the link and share no that's not it um, there's a page where I can send you the link to the 38 time left oh it's over okay so I guess that's not there anymore winners haven't been picked yet hmm thank you let's just go to this link see that is still live oh there you go yeah here you go so you can actually go to this thing so I'm gonna put that in here <coughs> and uh, I guess it's over gateway giveaway ended okay so I I guess I can't uh bonus click the link and so I guess uh if you just go to chromebosslive.com then chromebosslive.com this is the actual training here let me just put that in the link on the screen because I don't have the right link here um change that to this well actually you know what no that's what I'm saying I'm gonna go in here so add uh in my normal in my js gagnon uh, domain I'm gonna add that in here where is it there you go right here and I'm just going to add a new uh I'm just going to call it CB Chrome Boss right Chrome Boss is going to call it's going to call it CB and it's going to be that's what it's going to be Chrome Boss so it'll be CB cb.jsgagnon.com that's where you go to and whoops I, sh I forgot I gotta change that to be a different color background or at the very least the background like this <coughs> there you go so you can go there that's the link for it let me go back to the group here right over here so that's so you you that link to the group is in the if you um actually uh no it's not there but that's the link that you can go to cb.js going off you go to that if I open a new incognito and I go to that cb.js you're going to end up on this page which is the chrome boss subscriber scaling secrets live five day training which right now is um <coughs> is uh is um I keep I forgot these are these are uh, all right I'm not logged in right here these are uh comments that people have put in there that are amazing right that this is amazing this is this is the training she's doing now I'm probably going to be putting together a training myself later on but but really this is it's worth going through this right now to learn the thing I don't know how how long the uh the the, the replays are going to be available or not but yeah so if you want to learn how to build your own business using chrome <laughs> extensions just go check this out go to this uh go to this uh um page in this group there's a uh, kim uh <clears throat> kim 
Kim Dang is amazing she's really full of energy she's full of insight she knows what she's talking about and she can show you how to build a chrome business using your idea or even somebody else's idea it doesn't really matter because really the point is you just need to find a developer you can hire somebody for 100 200 bucks that's going to do it she actually started her first extension paid 50 bucks for it and it's it's today she's you know she's making thousands a month on just this one extension and now she's got like four or five extensions and she's really crushing it so really go check out Kim Dang so Kim Dang so as you can see right here Kim Dang let's just zoom in a bit here so Kim Dang is the person to go follow right go check her out go check her profile go message her tell her hey JS sent me I'm just wondering about your training is it still oh it's still open just go ahead and ping her message her uh, uh maybe I don't know if she accepts any friend requests or whatever but you probably should have a, a profile and things like that if you want to connect with her but she is like I said amazing so go and check this out cb.jsgagnon.com go check that out it'll take you to the page like I said the uh, if I go let's just show you again cb and this will take you to the chrome bus uh, page which is all about and I'm actually I'm actually going to comment on here newest awesome stuff day four in the books was was crazy amazing thanks thanks for putting this training on so much p.s p.s this is being recorded in my CLS episode number 216 right 216 is that right 216 let's put it up on the screen two oh 316 oh my god <laughs> 316 not 216 and it's actually the text for this episode is how to start how to start your own software biz with no tech knowledge that's the whoops I forgot the k right here k cs episode number 316 how to start there we go and that's the episode and also post to Facebook day four day four in the books was crazy can't wait can't wait for day five today okay post that uh, also post to Facebook and that'll go on my on my profile right if I go to Facebook here whoops what did it say it said confirm yes I want to post on my profile and it's going to be like this and I'm just going to say confirm and that's it is it on now <clears throat> if I oh I should probably reset this view if I go to my own page my own profile is it going to be there yeah there it is see there's even a link to to whatever right group convert five-day challenge um and there you go so that's uh, awesome stuff day four in the books ps this has been recorded in cis episode 316 as you can see it's actually right there you're actually seeing it on the screen right now I'm actually going to turn that off and uh, yeah so that's how you start your own business with chrome extensions with no tech knowledge go check it out I'm actually going to post these uh, more, more information in the blog post obviously but and if you have any questions just go ahead and comment comment below comment below and let me know what your what your questions are about this and you know I'll help you as best best I can otherwise go to that go to that link and go and and talk to Kim about this let her know I sent you obviously uh, that would really that would mean a lot to me but yeah so that's that's how you do it it's uh, I, I the details obviously I can't cover all that right now but that's how you start your own software business with no technology imagine being the next Microsoft whoops sorry imagine being the next Microsoft the next Bill Gates right that could be you 
right so have a great day and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.